we saw the tweet, the big tweet coming out from Tesla, that they were saying they're looking at cryptocurrencies with less than 1% of the current emissions impact that Bitcoin has. And we've already debunked over and over and over again that the, the whole idea that Bitcoin itself has a negative impact on the environment, especially when compared to the current systems, is silly on its face. It's not true. It doesn't really have any statistical backing behind it. In fact, so much so to the point where you could argue that every single day you're pushing against cryptocurrency in that way, you're propping up the current systems, which have significantly worse of an impact, doesn't really make a lot of sense. And even on top of that, if you wanna go even another level, the current systems we have, even though they're significantly worse than cryptocurrency, are still way better than any system the, the entire world has ever had before. The current systems we have now, of of accounting for value with the banks and the monetary systems are incredible absolute feats of marvel technology the likes of which we've never seen before that have allowed us as a civilization to move forward extremely fast and reach heights that we've never been capable of reaching as a society or as a world before so as incredible and amazing as that is, we, we are now stepping that up a level with Bitcoin and then stepping that up even another level with Dogecoin. And so with all those levels there, it's really silly and ridiculous that we even have to deal with anything like this, especially from someone like Elon Musk, who we were hoping would know better. But I think this really came down to other people at Tesla because Elon Musk does not own more than 50% stake at the company. He played a big role in Tesla actually agreeing to accept Bitcoin because if he didn't, then how come no other major company has even come close to doing that yet? Of course he did. And so with that, he made it happen. And so some people at the company were probably wary of that, but because he's Elon Musk, he's one of the main co-founders of Tesla. Because of that, he had his way, he got his sway and they started accepting it. But then the pressure started building from outside groups who do not use facts or logic and are only trying to push things that are outside of what actually makes sense. And so the pressure built up too much. You have to actually, to some degree, pander to people if those are gonna be your, a huge percentage of your customers, if you want your company to be successful, which of course Elon Musk does. So he didn't have much of a choice, but I think he is the person who was actually responsible for that second part of that announcement, saying that Tesla, at some point in the future, will accept Bitcoin again. He's not giving up on it. They're still holding their Bitcoin. If Elon Musk was out of the company, they would probably would have never bought it in the first place. And if they had bought it, they probably would have sold it by now. So that's where the positives come in. And that's where also the positives for Dogecoin come in because that that announcement came kind of out of nowhere. We still do know that there's a mysterious wallet, about 1.5 billion Dogecoin, and the, the identity of that wallet has not been released yet. So as we look more into that, maybe just maybe it was Tesla. If not though, it's only a matter of time. Elon Musk is not going to let that slide 